weekend with a very impressive performance under Jeff Jones. An outstanding performance right from the get-go. Vlad Moldovano hit the first shot of the game to make it 3 nothing, And Lafayette never caught up, never really got on any kind of roll, couldn't get the lead under double digits in the second half, although they tried, got close. And AU got its second win when it needed to and pulls away to an 18-point win. We talked a lot about the three coming in, but the big two for American, Moldovano and Lumpkins, lead the Eagles over Lafayette 78 to 60. For John Feinstein and our entire CBS College Sports Network crew, I'm Bob Sosa. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to cbscollegesports.com. This has been a presentation of the CBS College Sports Network. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Wednesday for the Patriot League's men's quarterfinals. So long from Washington. Um, can you talk about what this make, what this week meant to you guys and uh, how much you needed to win this? Um, well, I mean, it was huge because we uh, had a tough loss at Holy Cross. We didn't play our best, so we really wanted to, you know, Navy, we beat them the first time. We beat Lafayette the first time, so we knew we had two winnable games, and we played well both games and got the home game, so that's huge for us. What did you guys try to do defensively, defensively to slow these guys down? You held them under 35% from the field. Um, well, our guards did a really good job, I thought, of just pressuring their guards and made it hard for them to initiate their offense. We forced some turnovers and did a pretty good job on the glass. On the other side of it, Vlad, you, you had eight straight points to start the game, then you guys never looked back. What, what got you guys off to that quick start in the first half? I mean, it was a, it was a big game, and uh, we knew we got to come up with energy, you know, and uh, play, hard from the, play hard from the beginning, the whole 40 minutes. And, uh, of course, we want to do it from that, you know. We want him to get out here with a win. You, know? you guys had uh, 34 points in the paint. Did you guys have a, you know, an emphasis on getting the ball inside more today? I mean, Coach talks about how sometimes you rely on the outside shot a little too much. Is that a point today to get it inside to you two a lot? Yeah, I mean, definitely every game we kind of look to start throwing it in. And usually when we struggle, I feel like we settle too much for outside shots. And we hit some shots early, and that kind of opened it up. And we got some layups and kind of got us going a little bit. That was... Um Certainly the first half and, and the start of the second half was uh, about as well, I think, as we, we've played all year. I mean, we, we were kind of going on all cylinders, and it was great to see our guys come out with the, the kind of energy uh, that, that they had. And, you know, we probably spent more time talking uh, about our, our energy and our effort than, than we have at any point in the season. Um, you know, we, we got off to a good start. Uh, a lot of different guys contributed. I know, you know, you just had Vlad and, and Lump up here and you look at the scoreboard or the stat sheet and, you know, 26 and 24, and you think, wow, you know, those two guys really carried the load. And they did, but they did from a scoring standpoint. A lot of guys did. I mean, Simon McCormick, you know, just really, really uh, busted his, his rear, rear end trying to defend Maurer. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, the other guys all contributed in, in different ways. So it, it's nice to have uh, multiple guys, you know, really having, I, I think, sharp games. Um, what did you guys try to do defensively tonight? Um, you held them under 35%. Was it just effort, you thought? Uh, you talked about Simon's effort. Yeah, we didn't really do a whole lot different than what we had done up there. Um, uh, there were a couple twists that, you know, but not – not anything major. Uh, the big thing was just intensity, effort, uh, really gearing up um, and, and guarding the three-point line. Um, but recognizing in doing that, you know, they were going to drive the ball. And, and so, you know, we, we had to challenge the three-point line but do our best to try to stay in front. Um, for the most part, I, I thought we were able to, to do that. How important were these last two wins for the program? The AU's never finished lower than fourth in the Patriot League. Um, you've never finished with below 500 record in the Patriot League, and you managed to keep that going. Um, and obviously, you've got a home game coming up uh, on Wednesday. You know, the, 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 the world wasn't going to come to an end. Um, you know, the sun was going to come up tomorrow if, if, if we didn't have at least a, a 500 record uh, in conference play, if we didn't host a, a, a game. But um, I'd be lying if I said that it, it didn't mean something to, to all of us. And uh, uh, Kieran Donahue um, in the, the, the scout meeting last night, uh, I'm told, you know, made a point of the fact that, you know, all the teams, all the AU Patriot League uh, teams uh, prior, you know, had, had finished with records 500 or, or above. 
Um, and I, I think our guys, you know, wanted to to continue, um, you know, that that streak um, if, if, if we could. And so, you know, that's a good thing. There's, you know, there's another streak we've never lost in, in the first round. Um, you know, so we, we hopefully we can, uh, you know, keep that streak going too. But uh, uh, I, I, I do think it's significant, I guess. And, and again, it's not, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it, it did mean something to, to all of us.